<laughs> you're, you're an artist. <laughs> or a computer engineer. Or a Yeah, you can stretch it. Yes. That's why size is so handy, because you can draw a vector. Yeah, size is a pretty good program. And if you've got 50 bucks to spare, or, or you can, or you can find it higher somewhere, I pirated it. You really should look into it. It's very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it draws a lot cleaner than Photoshop does. It looks like, yeah, I mean, I really doubt that was vector. Yeah, so you should, you should look into that if you want to draw the All right. Paint tool, SAI, paint tool, size. Start with sketch. Then, then I go to the background, which is not sketching. And I, of, uh, I'm a big fan of linear perspective for some reason. So whenever I can, I fit in a vanishing point, some proceeding lines. I don't know why. Make me feel important. Don't I guess. ever ask him for criticism on on a picture. I'll make your ass. <laughs> He'll go through you. <laughs> All right, line work. What I do next? I sketched in the background characters too, and did the the black lines also in vectors, so I can stretch it out as much as I want to. And that's what she said. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> then I export it as a PSD, which is what I can do, and then I bring to Photoshop, and that's where I color it. I use very solid coloring because the shading is on a new layer itself. And I'll, I, I show you. You forgot to No, no, I'll do it on the I'll show you what the layers look like. Lots of layers. A lot of here. Lots of Yeah. All right. This is the shading layer, and that's in a mask. That's important because if you do that. And the shading only appears where you colored on the layer below. So you can be as messy as you want. Yeah, messy as you want to erase it. So it doesn't leave any ugly halos or doesn't go outside the lines. Yeah, really important stuff we're talking about here. <laughs> and the background, usually a lot more interesting than this sometimes, not even. That was the first time I drawed a cloud like that, actually. And you were very proud of it, I was very proud of myself. Yeah. See, they're all fluffy and nice. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I think it gives the comic a bit more depth if you try to slightly emulate photography or filming. Because if you're really there and you're really standing there, apart from being terrified of talking animals, you can <laughs> so everything will be blurring the background. Okay. Um, it's silly things. Alright, that's what I do next. Then I drive it all into a pre-made format, which I have saved. It has, it has the bars, it has the bar text staying in. I drag all the panels finished into there, and then move them around. How big do you draw them before they hit the comic? Oh, um, each, right, a square panel is 750 wide, which is so that when it shrinks so down, it's exactly 50%. Yeah, so it's 1,500 when he's drawing it. Yeah, the long panel is 1,500. When you resize pictures by anything that is an interval of half or 25% or anything, it tends to look Jagged edges. Yeah, if you do it like 65 or 75, blurred. Bad. So you always want to shrink by 50 or, or 25. 25. Or 16.5, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Whatever half 25 Yeah, whatever 12.5. Although, nowadays, I don't actually resize before this part. This file, if done now, would be 1500 wide, and I would only shrink it at the very end. And this is so. If I ever put to print, which it won't be. If I ever put to print, they will be big enough. It won't be in print because of how the comic is done. You know, it always has a different length. You know, it, prints for, it prints pretty well, though. I wish I had print out. Like, it was very readable when I printed it out. The colors were okay, I guess. All right, so I add the text with my own custom-made font, which looks nothing like my handwriting, because you wouldn't be able to read it. <laughs> my handwriting is an attempt at making readable handwriting. Yeah. Then I put in bubbles. They're on different layers, so that when people, two people are talking, they're different, I guess. So the year aren't playing. It's a nice drop shadow over It's a nice shadow. Yeah, aren't they lovely? Yeah, those fancy shadows. drop shadows. Huh? Fancy drop shadows, not lines. Oh, then I'm done, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> then I shrink it and upload it, and then I wait for people to praise me. <laughs> All hail. <laughs> and that's the end of the presentation, apparently. Hey. We now begin kissing his boots. 19 minutes, really? Jesus. Boots? Yeah. Boots? Okay, well, now uh, you can ask any of us.
Oh, this is going to end badly. Has his priority casual right. Yes, casual Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday. Well, casual is naked for you, then you can show up naked if you want. Yeah. I sure will. Yeah. 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 Spoiler alert! It's going to be a, it's going to be a continuation of Furthy High, Furthy Lincoln College, a little more adult, I guess. Furthy University. Oh. That's why I, I don't have any actual fans. I was just thinking, right. that I'm probably, I mean, Furthy High is going to go on for a while. I mean, I just started for very long semesters when I come. Yeah. Uh, I have a few words on the uh, Like what? Like what is it? How, how many of you don't read at the heart of it all? Uh, yeah, we were, yeah. Yeah. It's my second who, who's going to admit to not going to read? A lot of people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't get online, but I'll just show you the files. At the heart of it all is my second book. I, it's been going for over a year now, I think. By the way, this is the book concession. Yeah, our year has been started. These are all my... Beast your eyes. <laughs> this is how you organize this. Ooh. All the hidden porn you never dreamed of. Hidden. <laughs> 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 That's true. Oh, plans, like, I can spoil the whole for you right now. Oh, God. Lots of text files. Run with the furry generator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Run with the furry generator. Oh, awesome. Who wants to make a random furry? Make a random furry. Actually, we can just shout out numbers. Shout out numbers. Who Oh, it's a list of them. Yeah. D&D <laughs> &D with random concession characters. We'll talk about this and then we'll talk you about... Let me down. Okay, this is how I generate random characters. Dude, me too. Which I haven't done for a long time, actually. Yeah, I have, but... What I do is I go to a certain website that rolls random numbers, and I roll... Random.org? Ten of them, I think. Yeah, ten. Because the species starts pretty far. And each number lines up with a certain category. You know, it rolls gender, sexuality, their religion, and then like four numbers dedicated to species. And I have basically all the important species that are birds. Because I hate those birds so much. <laughs> Damn, maybe I'm birds so much. If any of you are birds, you should probably leave now. Get, <laughs> probably all get out of here. As quickly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I know the bird name ball. Evolved? Uh, evolved? No, his, evolved. Dinosaurs are superior, you see. His, uh, his dinosaurs evolved from birds because to have a mandible so they could talk. Really? That's it. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly why you did it. That why? Concession, I'm make up your own lore. I'm stoned a lot, so I see a lot of things. Nobody did the uh, color pencil comic one. Only one color.